Hey team, welcome to a, a new section. Short little videos, I'm gonna start giving you a bag combination of the week to work on. So, this will be a bit of a technical breakdown of it. It's gonna involve a layback and some footwork as well. What it's gonna be, from just on that range, we're gonna do a touch jab, touch jab, touch jab. We're going to lay back so we can either step the back foot or just bend the back foot, but make sure you have a good stance so you're not taking your head beyond that. That is awful, I hate it when people do that. Your head and hip needs to stay above your knee. I prefer to step back, but we're gonna jab, jab. I'm gonna hit it hard. Imagine that right hand's gonna come in. We're gonna lay back. I'm going to throw a jab cross as I come back in. I'm gonna add some circular footwork with a one, one, two as I go round as well. So if things that go wrong, obviously, leaning back like this, that is a big mistake and that hurts my knee to do it. Then of course, lay back from there. If you move the back foot, don't bring the foot with you. So now you're overstretched on your stance. You will be leaning, you'll be losing power. You'll have it in your hip from there. And the other one that often goes wrong, when we're doing this one, one, two round the bag, that is step on the jab, recover. Step on the jab and as you recover, the back hand goes. The common mistake is you bring that foot round too far. One, two, three, you've broke your foundations. There's a few things to think about with that. But it's essentially, you're occupying lane one with your jab. It doesn't have to be three jabs. You can do this as much as you want. Touch, 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 touch. And moving round from there. Occupy the lead hand, lay back, jab, cross, step, 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 from there. Bad combination of the week for you to work on, guys. Get it done.